Hey, it's Queen Oz at Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Okay, guys, someone asked me what is the deal with Aquarius and control. Aquarius do have a lot of control issues. I see them as being twofold. The first issue I see is that there's always somebody trying to control the Aquarius. The girl that said this to me is Aquarius. And she said, if people weren't always trying to control us, we wouldn't have to rebel. She said this to me in the comment section. And I'm like, sweetheart, you are 100% correct. We do run into this problem frequently. Oftentimes, there is someone trying to control the Aquarius. If I had a dollar for everybody who tried to make me think, act, look, or be a certain kind of way, I'd have like a million dollars. Because this happens almost every day. There's always somebody telling me how to be or how not to be or what to do or how, what not to do. Be emotional. Don't be emotional. <laughs> you know, everybody has an opinion about how I should be me. <laughs> and a lot of Aquarius go through this. It's always somebody in our business <laughs> trying to tell us how to run our freaking lives. And many of us get, I know I get irritated with it. Some Aquarius tell me they just ignore it. I want to choke people sometimes. I hate when people tell me how to be and what to do. It irks me so bad. If I need help, I know how to ask for it. So anything beyond that is just basically an intrusion. There's always somebody telling us what to do because we're different. We don't follow the status quo. And usually an Aquarius is either a lone wolf or the leader of the pack, one or the other. And most people in the world are followers. There's leaders and there's followers, but there's usually more followers than leaders. Okay, so all of the followers try to make everybody else follow too, because <laughs> they're following. So so should so should you. Followers get angry when you don't follow, and the Aquarius is not following. Usually, if the Aquarius is following, it's because they're choosing to follow because they're getting something out of following. Generally, the Aquarius is the leader, or they are the lone wolf. If an Aquarius is following. Be suspicious <laughs> because there's probably a reason why they're following. We're very crafty like that. There's a reason for that. So a lot of times because you're the lone wolf, because you're that person, there's always somebody trying to pull you in line. There's always somebody trying to get you to do what the crowd is doing. Somebody trying to get you to think and be different than what you are thinking and being. And the bottom line is, is that we really can't because we're creative. I don't even know how to pretend to be normal. All I can be is me. <laughs> I've tried to pretend to be normal. Seriously, it doesn't work. I still look awkward. <laughs> you can still tell that I'm faking it, you know? So one day I was like, I'm just going to be me. And I was a young girl when I figured that out. I can't even fake being what they call normal. I can't even fake following the crowd. It doesn't even look right. You could tell I'm faking. So because we're that kind of individuals as Aquarius, oftentimes there's somebody cracking the whip. There's somebody trying to tell us what to do. There's somebody trying to tell us, don't wear that lipstick. Don't wear your hair like that. Don't go there. Don't do this. It's always somebody telling you not to be who you are. And I know for me, I get sick of it. I'm tired of hearing it. At this point in my life, it triggers me. <laughs> it really does. Because I'm like, you know what? Huh? Mind your business. And it just irks me to no end. Others, not so much. Likewise, the other issue with control. Remember I said it was two. The other issue is that a lot of Aquarius are control freaks. So here you have people trying to control you and then you trying to control others. Some of us do try to control others. Not all of us, but some of us do. When I was younger, I was a lot more controlling. I tried to make people do what I wanted them to do. And what I realized as I got older is when you do that, you handicap them. They can't make decisions for themselves. So if you are, if your girlfriend calls you for some advice about, you know, something that's going on in her life and you tell her what to do and she doesn't do it, then you scream on her like, I told you, da, 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 da. that's why, da, 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 da. don't do that. That's why I don't do that anymore. I drop little seeds and I back away because I realize that when I try to control people and make them do what I want them to do, they lose their independence and they lose their ability to figure out how to live.
They need me to think for them all the time because they can't figure it out anymore. I've seen this happen with several people that have been in my life and I'm like, why do they keep calling me for every little thing? And I realized because I handicapped them to the point where they constantly need me to help them figure out their life. So I stopped doing that. But there are a lot of Aquarius who are very controlling. Likewise, I do control my environment. I'm very controlling of my environment. I am on top of everything in my environment. Like on my, for instance, I have a Facebook group. I'm, you know, I, I have to approve all the messages, okay? <laughs> they don't go out until I approve them. On our YouTube channel, None of the um, comments are put out until I approve them, you know? Even when my assistant was working with me, I still approved them. I did that part, you know? Because I'm very controlling of my environment and I want to have and create and set a certain type of tone. Mostly a tone of positivity. That's usually what I'm going for in anything. In my home, and if I have an office, if I'm online, I try to set the same tone of positivity no matter what happens, you know, even though sometimes, you know, things happen. So Aquarius can be controlling and people are always trying to control us. So as an Aquarius, this is something that's very important for us to pay attention to. So let me know what you think about that. Are you a controlling Aquarius or are you an Aquarius whose people are always trying to control? Thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you know an Aquarius that's going through some control issues, one or the other, or sometimes both, please pass this video on to them. If you would like to get a reading, please email me. I'm going to leave all my information underneath this video and I would love to hear from you if you would like a reading or if you have a question for Ask an Aquarius. Likewise, every love donation is greatly appreciated and every gift is appreciated too. Thank you all for being here and I will see you next time. And remember to come back because I have a lot more to say. See you later.